The local bottle depot strikes again. There was all kinds of stuff out there this time. Notably, this computer. So unlike last time I got a free computer, this does not appear to be a pre-built. There is no branding on this case at all. However, it looks like Best Buy was involved with it at some point for some reason. These Best Buy stickers are dated 2014, which if this was made around that time, that's way newer than the OG free computer. This was back in 2009. That kind of gives me high hopes for the new one being a little bit better than the OG free computer. We will need a new name for this thing because it's not getting the free computer name. This will always be the free computer. Someone actually told me that I should retire this thing and let it rest after all the stupid experiments that have been done to it. But no, this thing's getting experimented on till it dies. And now maybe this one too. Oh, I'm just noticing that has more information. Prod SVC UPG, is that service upgrade or something? I don't know what that means. Customer return, was this returned to a Best Buy? And if so, how do I have it? Comments, A, none. B, call if required. C, good? Was that like good condition? P, none, is P for power, no power? Does this not turn on? Make custom, so yeah, it doesn't seem like this is a pre-built. I guess we need to open this thing and see what's in there. There's one screw holding on the side panel. Let's pull this off. Wow, there's not much in there. It looks like there's some kind of Wi-Fi card down here. Yeah, that is a Wi-Fi card. Why does this have PCI? That is not a PCIe port. That is the old, old standard. How old is this computer? Some kind of Intel CPU here. Oh, there's no RAM in this computer. Man, I got scammed. OG free computer came with four gigs in here. This computer's got nothing. Let's put in some RAM. Four gigs of DDR3 would have cost me 10 Canadian dollars, so maybe we designate this the $10 computer, and then it doesn't combine with the free computer. Anyways, let's get this installed. There we go. I guess now we find out if this works. I stole the SSD out of OG free computer and this one does actually include a SATA cable so we can plug this in. What did they have going on here? Why is there Molex to SATA power adapters when this power supply also just has SATA? Who put this thing together? Why is this Molex to two single individual wires? What could this possibly be getting used for? Actually, I think that's powering a front case fan down in this hole. Well, we'll see if Best Buy's no power diagnosis is correct. That did nothing. Oh, the power supply's not on. Okay, we'll try again, we'll try again. It's totally doing something, that was BioScreen. Wow, that actually booted up like really quickly. All right, I gotta see what CPU is actually in this computer. Oh, that's not that great. So this only has a dual core processor down there. This might be worse than the free computer. I wanna run Cinebench on the CPU and see how it actually compares to the old free computer. And there it goes. Wow, is that ever going slowly. I've got hardware info up so I can make sure that the clock speed is actually correct. It is not running at the full, oh wow, that is at 105 degrees Celsius. Clearly something is going on here. I've never even seen a CPU that goes up to 105. Usually they thermal throttle at like 100 or even like 95. That is hot. Is the heatsink hot? No, the heatsink is cold. I can hold my hand on that. This thermal paste might be done for. Let's see what our score was. Only 187 points, which puts this significantly behind the free computer. I'm gonna turn this off though, because we gotta give this a fair shot. We gotta figure out why this is overheating and stop that from happening. CPU cooler removal. I've never taken off one of these Intel stock coolers. Uh, it looks like you just twist these. Yeah, that's coming out. Maybe? Something's still holding it. Oh, there it goes, we got it. Okay, number one, that was not even covering the entire CPU. It's like a little circle in the middle. And also, that is completely dry. This thermal paste, I don't think it was doing anything. Let's clean that up a bit. Basically, none of that thermal paste was even stuck to the CPU. This thing is clean. Speaking of, let's get a closer look at this thing. Well, that is indeed an Intel Core i3. I don't know what I expected, but ah, I like seeing those pins. All right, let's put it back. Oh, I almost just dropped that into the socket. Okay. New thermal paste that I've already gotten onto my finger somehow. I will stick this back down and see if it still overheats. Um, how do you do this? Oh, okay. I think you have to turn this into the locked position and then just push it down all the way after it's in the socket. Let's try that. 
Okay, that seems secured. It clicked a bunch of times. Let's turn it back on. That sounds bad. What is happening? Was that the fan? The fan was stuck. I don't know what was happening. Oh, no. Whatever noises were coming out when I turned this on, it sounded like a capacitor was about to blow up. Another thing, it says new CPU installed, which yeah, I took it out of the socket, but how does it know that if it wasn't on? And I put in the exact same CPU. How could it tell? And then all of these loose wires are just begging to get bound up in that fan and they're really good at it. It's happening again. Okay. Yo, stop. Anyways, let's boot this up again. Okay, it's still not very fast, but we did drop 50 degrees on the CPU. This CPU is only running at 55 degrees now, which I'm gonna say it's gonna improve our score. Well, even with this CPU not overheating, it was chilling at 50, 60 degrees the whole time, performance was not really all that great. It scored 210 points, which is still significantly below the Core 2 Quad that's in the old free computer. That means despite the age difference, OG free computer still has the CPU speed advantage. However, this was a high-end chip for this socket, whereas this Core i3 was the low tier one. So in theory, CPU upgrading this should make a big difference. Maybe we'll get to that one day. For now, let's play some games. I have a theory that the graphics capability of this computer could be higher than OG free computer. This is a newer CPU on a newer socket, so I would kind of expect graphics improvements despite it being a technically slower CPU. Let's find out. No matter how many times I try and open Steam settings, absolutely nothing happens when I click this. I don't know how to fix that. How does this even happen? What is going on with Steam? Play. Do it, yes, it's okay, do it. Wow, I have never seen this game have graphical bugs before. What is happening? Whoa! Everything that's being drawn to the screen is staying there. It's not getting redrawn and erased. This looks like when you win Solitaire on like Windows 98 or whatever. Oh yeah, boomerang. Cannons. It's kind of interesting to find out what layer all of this stuff is on because clearly I did the cannons after the airplane and yet the cannons went behind it. I find that stuff interesting. Let's open our chest. See how much this breaks it. Oh, that did nothing. Okay. Clicking on everything, nothing's happening anymore. Oh, hello. Anyways, let's go to the same map I played on last time I used this thing. Is there even graphics drivers installed or am I just like, what is happening here? Intel HD graphics, that is correct. Driver date 2012. Okay, maybe there might be something newer than that. Yeah, but BTD6, just absolutely nothing going on here. That's not working. My question is, does this ancient, ow, I did it again. Clearly, I don't want 11th to 14th gen. That's too new. Arc, it's not Arc. Intel data center graphics, no. Radeon Vega graphics? This isn't even an Intel thing. You know what? I don't want to accidentally get something older than I need. Let me just do this recommended whatever. No supported driver or software updates are available for your system. Really? I found older drivers, but I found nothing newer. So I guess this is the newest setup and this just doesn't work at all. Moving on, let's try Factorio. Okay, this actually took multiple minutes to load, but I'm in Factorio and uh, the performance sucks so far. This is only getting like 18, 19 FPS. That is really bad performance for this game. Back when I tested the free computer, this got 26 FPS. This is only managing 16. Let's see if this can do something the free computer could never do. Open Stray. Yeah, okay, I could have seen that coming. That's exactly the same as it was on the free computer. You know what? I'm confident. GTA San Andreas is gonna be way better on this thing. I'm actually impressed. This is running at 40, 50 FPS. OG free computer only ever got 26. This is actually an improvement. I wonder what it is about this game that makes it actually perform better compared to everything else that's worse. All right, I know to expect the worst out of this, but I have to try BeamNG Drive. Let's see if it even loads. No, our engine could not initialize valid DX11. No, highest DX version 10. You know what, fine, we'll use Vulcan instead. 
Oh no, it is possible that your hardware or OS does not meet the minimum requirements. Please contact our support team. No valid rendering device. Wow, status heap corruption. I'm second guessing myself. Is the CPU even newer? January 2010 compared to April 2009. Yes, technically it is newer. It just sucks. I can't say it doesn't make sense. This is a pretty low end CPU compared to what was a decent one at the time, that Core 2 Quad. This thing needs a redemption. Surely it can run Minecraft, right? Why am I dying? What is happening? Where am I? What, what just happened? So explain to me how I spawned in this. Where is this? Why is this? What, what is going on? Now that I think about it, this save file was from 1.20.1. .1, so I have no idea how I even loaded this. Yeah, none of my stuff is here. So I think it just kind of regenerated the world. So fast graphics, five chunks loaded. You could probably play this. It's, it's not great, but um, I'm playing it. Look at the bunnies. I tried to go back to the menu to load a different world and it just totally crashed. I guess we're done with Minecraft. This did not go as I was expecting. I thought this thing was gonna be newer and better and faster. It is none of those things. Technically it's a year newer, but with how much lower end these parts are, yeah, this sucks. I can't complain too much. It's a working computer that cost me only $10, but wow, does this thing suck. And this is a step down from the old free computer that came with the RAM in it. So yeah, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't recommend it. Leave a comment below if you think I should try and upgrade this thing to make it outperform the OG free computer. I think it's possible just because it is a newer platform. I could go all out, max out the CPU to a Core i7, tons of RAM, throw in an actually good graphics card. Let me know if you want to see that. For now though, I guess I'm done with this thing. It kind of disappointed me, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, come back for next week's video. Bye.